Hi, let's take a look at how we'll install and use the Polkadot.js extension in order to get our own Kusama or Polkadot address. This address will then be usable by any DAP or Web3 application that we want to interact with by just querying the addresses and accounts we have stored in our extension. Now, the extension is a very safe method of generating the accounts and is arguably the simplest one among the safest methods. So it's kind of a good balance between safety and ease of use. We definitely recommend this approach, but if you want to take the more uh, advanced approaches, feel free to visit the links that uh, are in the description below. Uh, so first you'll need to go to polkadot.js.org slash extension, get the extension and install it for your browser. So you have the Chromium option for Brave and similar browsers, and you have the Firefox option for Firefox. Once it's installed, you should be able to open the pop-up. In your case, this part will be empty and a big plus screen and a big plus button will, be, will appear. In my case, this is the small plus button at the top because I already have some accounts here. So to create a new account, we have to click this button and select create new account. This will produce a mnemonic seed. This is a phrase of 12 words that you, you can remember or better yet, write in an offline way, store it in a safety deposit box or in your drawer or somewhere offline. Definitely do not store this on cloud, cloud hosting or, or Google Docs or something similar, or even keep it on your online uh, computer, on this computer that you're using to create this. Um, anybody accessing these words can recreate your account even without the password that you will add in the next step. So be very careful about storing this seed safely. Um, then after we have saved this seed phrase somewhere safe, we have to confirm that we've done so and we'll move on to the next step. In this step, we can select that this account should be usable by any chain. Now, if we want to limit the use of this account to some specific chain, we can pick one on the list. In this case, we're making a Kusama address, so we, we can pick Kusama relay chain, but in general, you can either use allow use on any chain and then you will be able to use this account on any blockchain that you connect to, or you can just be very specific and pick one that you like or that, that, you're, that you're building the account for uh, specifically. So if you're making a, an account for one chain uh, in particular, then just pick that, uh, that chain and it'll be easier to manage an, uh, an extension full of accounts. You can see here that there's Kusama in the top right corner of my address indicating that it's a Kusama account. Um, next, we have to add a descriptive name. Now, this is only for this extension. This will not be visible to other people. This is only for your account management, so it's easier to recognize the accounts in the list that doesn't make any entry on the chain itself. It's just for this extension. And then we'll just input a password twice. Now, once we generate this account, it will appear in our list of accounts and you can actually scroll down and see it in the list of accounts. And there you go. That's pretty much it. You now have a ready made Kusama account, which you can use to interact with various websites that require a Kusama account. You will be asked to let a DAP interact with the extension on a certain website that requires these accounts. And once you allow it, the application will be able to read your address and its balance and all of its other information.